the best part is watching Sonny grow, like really second by second, like watching him develop and really w being a part of all of that. Do you think Sonny realizes something is different? A little bit, yeah. Like one day at the very beginning, he asked me where the world went. And I was like, whoa, that is so profound. Um, but he, he says here and there, like he misses school and he misses his friends. Um, and our teacher at our school sent us a really good video on YouTube um, that I can share with you guys, but it, it was like a way to explain to them what's going on. Um, and I think he, he senses something a little bit, but you know, we don't, we, we don't tell him in detail, obviously, what's going on. There's no need for a two and a half, three-year-old to know all the details. And we try to keep the news off and everything like that. Right. Um, I know in the past you've been, you've been really open about um, your previous miscarriage and what that meant to you and, and what the place, uh, where it brought you in your life. Um, how are you doing now? Like, how do you feel about the possibility of possibly extending your family? Yeah. Um, I feel like I have released the miscarriage, um, the miscarriage, the, the sadness that comes with it. It's been almost a year now. And so I feel like I have let go of that. Um, in terms of growing the family, it's definitely something on my mind all the time. I just haven't really decided, honestly. And I'm just kind of letting like fate and whatever happens, happens. Like I'm letting that mentality just kind of take the the lead. Um, but I, yeah, it's, it's hard because I don't know for sure that I want a second. Um, but I also know that I really want Sunny to have a sibling. You know, there's just like, I have such mixed feelings about it. Does Sonny ever bring up that he wants a sibling? Um, he'll ask, he'll ask like, where's my brother? Where's my sister? Um, so I guess that's his way of asking for that. But I don't know, I feel like it will, it will make our family complete if we do have a second child. Like, I really do think that's gonna happen for us. I just don't know if right now I'm ready for that, if that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, I love that you said that the miscarriage in a way brought you closer to Tim and you mm -hmm. made the marriage stronger. Can you tell me about that and, and, and what ways it, it did make you guys stronger as a couple? Yeah, I mean, I just think that the the relationship gets stronger when you have to go through struggle, struggle and how you guys can pick yourself up after that. I think that it really strengthens a relationship, um, knowing that the person is going to be there to support you no matter what is just, yeah, it, it brought us really close together. It made me feel so supported and loved. And um, I mean, I think it would, you, most men probably would, you know, support their wives through something like this. Um, but yeah, it's, it's like, losing my father and then that, they were two huge things that happened to me that I feel like really defined us, defined our relationship and just made us stronger. So you have a lot going on right now. You're working on several projects. Tell me about the YouTube page uh, and your podcast. Yeah, so my YouTube page has really been going strong for about almost four years now, which is crazy just because it was, we started really doing it when I was pregnant with Sunny. And we started our series, I love my baby, but I hate my pregnancy. And since then we've just started doing all different types of series like me time, how I take care of myself and self care. And then right now we're doing the recaps of the city, which have been so fun. Timmy and I are watching episodes of the city and we're doing reaction videos. So YouTube has been a really fun way to just like, I don't know, revisit history and make fun of ourselves. And it's just a good platform for that. Um, and then I have my podcast with Wit and I started a series called Staying Home with Wit and it's all just about what is going on in my life right now and how we are dealing with everything. So um, a lot of solo episodes, some with Timmy, I do some check-ins with my sisters, just like more personal topical content that people want to hear about. Right. 
And the world, you know, we're all going through this difficult time. And I think a lot of us are looking for more positivity and what we're consuming. Why are these, the YouTube page, the podcast, why is it uh, good for people right now to, to tune into? For me, it's all about giving people lighthearted stuff to enjoy without having to think about it. It can be a little bit of an escape for them, you know? At the beginning when this all started happening, Timmy and I did a couple videos and we did a podcast episode about our quarantine situation and how we were dealing with everything. But after a little while, it started to feel, even for myself, like I was just yearning for something funny and something that I could like escape in. So I thought, why not? you know, do something like kind of silly and personal like this just to get people's minds off everything. I think that's what people are really wanting to see right now.